All right, all right, all right. Look, look. Now, this right here, this is a bean. It's a soy bean. All right? It's a bean. Okay, yes. It's a soy bean, all right? Well, the shit hit the fan four weeks ago, and within the first eight hours, you ate all of our beef jerky. All right? It was a beef jerky frenzy, yeah, okay. and it is all gone now, and the only protein that we have left are soybeans. Yeah, exactly. Now, you are hungry. You are starving for nutrition. You need Come amino on, right. acids and protein. And, okay, yes. What? Okay. What are you so afraid of? It's a soybean. Dude, I don't want to grow breasts. All right? So you would rather starve to death. You would rather starve to death than eat a soybean. Yeah. Okay, well, fine. Well, maybe I will just... I will just eat all the soybeans yeah. then, and then I guess we go. <laughs> Yuck! Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. Yeah. Why did we stash 80 kilos of these? They're on sale. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today we're talking about TVP and why it's a really important food item that you should consider for your preps. Now, a lot of people hear TVP and they think it must be some sort of a plastic or something along those lines, like PVC piping. Uh, it's not that at all. Uh, what it is is, hmm, I mean, what's the best way to put it? Well, you know what, let's not even tackle that at the moment. Uh, first, I want to just get today's thumbnail image. I always hate it on YouTube videos when you click on a really cool thumbnail and it's not even in the video. So all of my videos, the, the thumbnail image is something actually from the video. So let's get today's thumbnail image right there. Is that working? Yep. This is what you clicked on. Just some dude. But you got you here. You know, so it worked. But I'm not just selling sex today. We got real information. Let's start by what the hell is TVP? TVP, how can I explain it? I'll take it frame by frame it to have y'all jump and shout and say in it. T is for textured V for vegetable. Scratch your temple, the last P, now that's not that simple. It's sort of like polymers of amino acids. It's seven little letters that we're missing here. Protein. The P stands for protein. It's not that big a thing. Textured vegetable protein, or TVP. I've got a big bag of it right here that I bought recently. I'm gonna be putting this in the pantry. What it is, is soy flour, where the soy oils have been removed, and it's turned into this sort of uh, flaky sort of, uh, I don't know, little bits. I'd say what they're most closely, what they most closely resemble is maybe that sort of dried chicken and dehydrated chicken soup, that kind of cheap chicken that's in there. Uh, they don't have their own flavor, they just take whatever flavor of what you put in, but they have a lot of amino acids, and they're a great alternative uh, or just an additional option in a collapse situation where you can have them and store them for a long time. The reason I wanted to do this video was because I recently did a video about uh, nutritional yeast. Uh, and in that video, I was putting the nutritional yeast, which is really high in B vitamins, which are a critical nutrient. Uh, I was putting it onto tofu, and the comment board just lit up with a lot of people that were saying, oh, it's a tofu, it's a terrible prep, and uh, you know, I'm, I don't want to grow breasts. I think it's an urban legend. As you can see, the breasts just wash right off. It, it, it's no big thing. Uh, but people were really fixating on the tofu. I think a lot of them didn't notice that the video was actually about nutritional yeast. Um, but uh, they were right and they were wrong. I, I don't think that there's a lot of... I don't think there's a lot of substance to the fears that are founded on the idea that tofu is going to make you feminized and grow breasts. There are plenty of people that eat plenty of tofu and they seem just fine. I, I'm a vegetarian, but I don't even really eat that much tofu. Uh, maybe I'll have a little textured vegetable protein maybe once a month. Uh, maybe I'll have tofu you know, once a month. But soy is not a huge part of my diet. There's plenty of other sorts of amino acid, rich foods, legumes, and things like that. So uh, soy is not a huge part of my diet. It is sort of a big part of a lot of people's diet to eat a lot of uh, fast food, junk food, things of like that nature. The average American diet actually is pretty high in soy, and you know you don't see that many dudes walking around with breasts. You know, maybe maybe some people that are really overweight might have breasts, but I think that's not necessarily due to the soy specifically. Um, but you know you can it's an option for you. It's another option. Uh, you can leave it on the table, but in a crisis situation, you don't want to be leaving a lot of options on the table. So. The, given the fact that it does have a really long shelf life, unlike tofu, which is not a good prep for that reason. Tofu, you know, needs to be refrigerated and everything is not a good prep. But this stuff lasts forever, good source of amino acids. You can get scared away by all the, the fear-mongering about not wanting to grow breasts or whatever, but you just throw it into uh, soup 
or whatever. It's just an added additional thing. Would I suggest that you take this bag and eat this and only this for a long time? Probably not. Variety is a good thing. And there is an estrogen-like compound in soy. Um, but that said, dudes have estrogen in our bodies, um, just in the same way that women have testosterone. You know, it's in small quantities. It doesn't seem like a problem for me, and I don't feel like I've been feminized. So I appreciate your watching, checking out. I'm going to go back to reading Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood, and uh, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.